Morning everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Wild Bill's Fishing. I am your host Wild Bill. Today is September the 5th, 2020. Guys, I know it's been a while since I made a video and that's for a couple reasons. Number one, Bull Shoals Lake usually gets flooded in the summertime. We're talking 40 feet. That's a lot of water to add to a lake. It puts the water up in the trees, uh, gives the fish all kinds of structure that they can hide in. And so it just, you know, the fishing's not the greatest. The, the good side to that is it gives those fish the opportunity to get big. Bull Shoals has some big, big crappie. We're talking, it's not uncommon to catch 16 inches on a, any given day. It's not uncommon to catch an 18 incher uh, in a month, in any given month. So Bull Shoals has those advantages. So you got to take the good with the bad. Another reason I don't fish a lot as much as I want to anyway in the summertime is because I am a service technician for a heating and air conditioning company and in the summertime we can work a lot. In 2015 we worked 13 hour shifts for eight weeks straight and uh, so obviously it doesn't leave me a lot of time to go fishing in the summertime but whenever I get a chance I give it a shot. So, But anyway today uh, I've made it to the lake. Uh, the lake has come down. It's still 17 feet above normal actually 18 feet above normal and uh, but the water has come down enough and it's still warm enough that most of those fish have been pushed out of the brush that surrounds the lake on the shoreline and if you can find structure that is in the 20 25 foot range it will usually have some fish on it so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be finding that structure that is just outside of the shoreline brush and seeing what we can get into. Now, for those of you that have not watched my other videos, uh, a little bit about the tackle, we use 12 foot rods and this is the particular rod that I use 95% of the time. It is an Ozark rod and that is the model number. Uh, this rod does me very good. It's a good looking rod. I, li I love the looks of it. I love the cork handle. The, the weight is perfect, you know. Now I do equip it with a bait caster, just an old piece of junk bait caster because I'm not really using it for casting, obviously it's a 12 foot rod. What we do is we just got the drag set so loose that we can pull our line out like that and so we're more or less using it as a cane pole but uh, we do have a, the benefit, the, the, you know, to be able to reel in a fish if we, you know, let it run. One time I caught a nine pound striper <clears throat> and that sucker he would run. 120, 150 yards, and I'd bring him back. He'd see the boat, and he did that three times. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes to get it landed in the boat. And you can do that with these. So the bait caster isn't for casting. It's just a spool for some line and to reel it in and to let line out. Now, the jigs that we use, guys, there's nothing special about the jigs we use. Go to Walmart, go anywhere, and get any old jigs. We do prefer the chartreuse head with a red eye, but we'll use anything that we can get our hands on. We don't think it makes that much of a difference. And then we use the Bobby Garland skirts. Now we tie them on loop knots or if you prefer to tie a cinch knot, make sure that your cinch knot is pulled at a 45 degree angle every time you let it down. Uh, but again, it doesn't really matter which knot you prefer. I've caught them on any knot, on any line, you know, it, it's really more important of getting in front of the fish that's hungry, really is the biggest thing. Now the line we use is high visibility, six pound fluorocarbon uh, made by Crappie Max, and uh, that's pretty much our tackle. You can put all our tackle in your pocket, and then you can say, what's he got in his nasty little pocket, you know? Anyway, so guys, that's a little bit of a rundown. Uh, I'm as ready as you are, let's go do some fishing. my net out. We're gonna have to try to swing him in. We may lose him. He's a pretty good crappie. Yeah, we're gonna probably lose this fish. Nope, we didn't. 
That'll teach me for not having my net out. That guy was down there about 20, 22 feet. Decent little crappie. Not bad for our first fish of the day. <clears throat> now, let's get the net out, huh? I'm bad about that. I won't, I'll forget the net. I get everything else ready, but not my net. The net is very important, especially when they're biting as finicky. As, I mean, just barely getting a hold of it today. So, anyway, we got the net out, so we should be set. That's a good crappie. a good crappie. Number three, pretty decent fish. That's number three, not bad at all. He's every bit of about 11 and a half, maybe 12 inches long. Good fish, awesome. Same story, down there about 20 feet, and they're not super aggressive. Got to really entice them, really entice them. That's another good one, guys. Never even felt him bite. Watched him on the grass swim by it. He picked it up. Never even really struck it. And, uh, I mean, he just swam off with it. Never even, he just, it's like he swam right by it and just picked it up. Never struck it or anything. Never felt the bite. Anyway, number four. They are slow this morning, but it's better than working. I think we're going to try a new spot. So, let's go. There's one. That's a good one. Uh, don't think it's a crappie, guys. That's a crappie. It's a bass. Fun to catch. Fun to catch. Guys, you can land some big fish if you just play them out. And a little bit of luck. Look at him pull that rod right down into the water. He ain't that big. Nope, he's not that big. Ugh. But he's landed. Right, let's see what we got here. Mr. Largemouth. We know that much. You can see where he was hooked, right in the corner. We had a decent hook set on him. A pretty bass. Yep, definitely. Good, healthy looking fish. Let's get him back in the water. Hey, sir, thank you for the fight. There's a
really good one. He swallowed it now. He wanted it bad. And I wanted him to have it. That's number five. Coming down on that brush pile again. It's got some fish on it. Let's see what happens. Oh, here they come. He took it. This this brush pile's got some aggressive fish on it. He's hooked pretty good. I think I can swing him in the boat. That's number six fish, number five keeper. He's a fighter. Why don't we fight him in the boat here? Probably a little bigger than what you should be swinging in the boat, but if you got a good hook set, you can do it. Tie good knots. Number six keeper. We're in for keeps today, guys. Seven. We're having to work for him today, but we are getting a few. I think he'll make it. Oh yeah. Oh. Got that one. Finally. I think it's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a good one. You better net that dude. Get in the net. Ah yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's what we're after right there. Some decent fish. There you go guys, that's a fat one. That'll make for a good fish fry right there. Number eight. Got that one guys. Man. They should Oh, he's a good one. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Guys, these are the crappie I'm talking about on bull shows. You can catch them on a regular basis usually. He wasn't going anywhere, that's for sure. He's definitely pushing 12. Wow, that's a good crappie there. Real good crappie. Definitely about a 12 incher. Great. They are sure slow to bite, but decent fish, having a good day. Um, this is nine. They're all somewhere between 10 and 12 inches long, most of them. Nothing much bigger. I've got maybe one that's a little bigger than 12 inches. Got it on camera. He come up out of that brush pile. It's a good, good crappie. He's a biggin. Boy, what a biggin. Golly, boys. Golly. For a crappie, this dude is big. Oh yeah. There's the one we've been looking for today. I told you. I told you. You can usually catch some pretty good ones. That one's more like 14 inches long. Yeah, buddy. Mm. guys today was september the 5th 2020 bull shows late um it's about what i expected it to be fish were around 20 to 25 feet i did catch a few of them a little bit deeper only because we don't have a lot of brush piles or a lot of structure that's right there in that 20 25 foot range right now um the edge of the buck brush the brush along the shoreline is right around uh, 18 the foot 17 you know around 17 18 feet and then our brush piles are usually another 10 feet deeper than that so it's kind of a transitional time for them water temperature was about 80 degrees and uh, we managed to pull out i think i caught 15 fish today and let loose three short fish the rest are keepers 12 keepers so we'll have some for a fish fry tonight anyway guys i really appreciate you watching the videos i hope you enjoy them um, if I can help in any way, just comment in the section below. And don't forget to go online. Check out uh, on www.ozarkrodcompany.com and uh, check them out. See if you like any of the products. I can tell you the 12-foot jigging poles are really good for what I use them for. And um, till next time, hope you guys get out and do some fishing of your own. Thanks.